Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. From now on, I'm gonna start all my videos greeting my viewers as ladies and gentlemen. And the reason for that is that after checking my YouTube account, I come to realize that almost 10% of my viewers are ladies. Which is a big surprise for me actually, but a very nice surprise. So ladies, welcome on board. And today I'm gonna show this basic pulse motor setup. This is my third video on it. First you've seen it with a transistor over here and a trigger coil over here. Then I showed it with a MOSFET over here and a trigger coil over here. And now I have the same MOSFET as the previous video. Even the resistor is the same, capacitor is the same. The resistor from the resistor from gate to source is also the same. The only thing I removed was the diode I had on the um, source to the gate because now I'm using a Hall effect sensor over here, so I don't need that diode anymore. But for the rest, it is completely the same. Let me get it started. This is, I think, also the last update on this basic pulse mode setup. Let me connect these leads. Make sure I don't make any short. Give it a little spin. Don't need much because uh, it's a hall sensor. And there she goes. It does take us time to uh, get up to speed, but uh, once it gets going, it really does get going. Yeah, there she goes. I was really picking up the speed. The rotor is pretty good balance. Yeah, kinda up the speed now. Yeah, that's about it. It is disconnected. Because of the moment of the road, it will keep spinning for a while, of course. You can see the whole base is sliding away a little bit. It is not a very efficient push motor, but that wasn't the, the idea over here. Just a basic setup with very little back EMF, especially at high speed, almost none. And as you can see, let me stop it, otherwise it will keep spinning for a very, very long time. As you can see, the whole, ses whole sensor yes, has been put in the same place where the trigger coil was. I didn't need to adjust it, not one bit. Fits snugly in place and it works just fine. That was about it. As I said, I think this is the last update on this motor. Just playing around with it. So as you can see, you can make a pulse motor with transistor and trigger coil transistor and the hall will work the same also and channel MOSFET and hall and channel MOSFET or a trigger coil doesn't really matter 
Okie dokie. Like I said, just a small video on this one. Hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.